YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing video. You guys probably get tired of me always doing my thumbnails like this, but I'm just not all that creative. I guess I could act scared since it's Halloween almost. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, this item came from Bloomingdale's, and it's in a box. Yay! I get so excited when I get my things in boxes. You know, I've had some pretty bad luck, especially with TJ Maxx, but also with Bloomingdale's lately in terms of getting handbags in boxes. And one of my recent purchases from Bloomingdale's was this necklace by Roberto Coin. I showed it to you two videos ago, and then I was wearing it in the last video too. And when I when I bought this, I used my I used one of my three triple points days with my Bloomingdale's credit card. And because of that, I earned a $400 gift card. So what I use that gift card for is in this box. And it is a St. Laurent item. Yes, you heard that right. I've got a St. Laurent item. I am just almost as excited about this as I am about the Prada bag that I opened for you yesterday. But... Let's just see what's in the box, okay? I am very pumped. I've never ordered a St. Laurent item from Bloomingdale's. I did order one of my Luke Hammer bags from Saks Fifth Avenue, and that didn't go so great. They sent it in a box with no anything, no packing materials, and it came and it was a little bit dented, and I was able to kind of massage it and get it worked out, but not good. Not a good experience. That said, I've received multiple St. Laurent bags from St. Laurent without the chains being secured and then leaving dents in the bags. And who does that with a 5,000, well, no, not 5,000, with like a $2,000 bag? Who sends it with the chains loose? Well, St. Laurent does. They do it with their own bags. Louis Vuitton sends their bags in boxes within boxes with no padding in either box. So the, the bag just moves around the whole trip. You know, the, the UPS driver throws it this way and the bag goes this way and that way and slams against the walls of the box. But somehow, miraculously, most of these bags make it to me or to whoever orders them in pretty good shape. I'm gonna be careful with this ceramic knife. It did me dirty the other day. I was working on my box that my Prada was in which was extremely well wrapped. And I somehow was going across, I, I'm trying to recreate it. I somehow was going across and I stabbed the end of it into my thumb. And it must have popped this loose when I did it because I was sure I was gonna be bleeding in a mess. But it just nicked the skin. Maybe I have a good thumbnail callus or something, not a thumbnail, a thumb callus that protected me. The ceramic knife left a little dent in me, but I kept on kicking and I didn't bleed. So I was proud of myself. So Bloomingdale's did not put any padding in the box, but that's okay because they got this St. Laurent item, which is a small leather good. They got this item it looks like pre-wrapped from St. Laurent. I mean, it's like a shrink wrap type situation. So I don't think Bloomingdale's did this. And it does have a barcode for the product on the outside here. So I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna carefully open this cause I haven't ever gotten a St. Laurent small leather good before. And I would like to preserve the box if possible. We'll see, my uh, ceramic knife wielding skills are not the best. I probably already scratched the box, but luckily the box, oh, they made it easy to get into. If I would have only known, let's see. Yeah, there was like, um, I think there was a pull tab there. I missed that, but no, I don't think I did scratch the box. It's in perfect condition. Hooray for St. Laurent and their very high quality box. I'm gonna actually use this to prop one of my bags up in my cabinet once I get what's in it out of it. I use little boxes from Louis Vuitton and from my other high-end designer bags to elevate bags on my shelves so that I can have them layered more than one deep. And that way you can see the one that's behind. And I have a bag that's just a little too hidden for my taste and I needed one more elevation box. So this is gonna be it. Okay, so I've got the care cards 
and it came in a dust bag, which makes me happy. So I'm going to look at all this stuff. I think I just tossed my AirPod. Hopefully I didn't lose it in my closet. That would be a disaster. It is a, I'm not going to tell you what it is. This says what it is. It's like the barcode. And then this in here are some of the papers. It is, again, talking about what it is here. And interesting, when it talks about the material, it says queer, just like the Longchamp bags. Now, if you didn't know, queer, C-U-I-R, means leather. And so this is a leather good. I'm pretty sure that St. Laurent has some canvas goods. I have never owned one myself. If I remember the way the logo looks, wasn't really a hit for me. But now I have her undressed down to the end. I'm going to see and show you what's in. Uh-oh, she's upside down. What's in the dust bag? Their dust bags are really nice, by the way. They've got like a lining that's white on the inside, and then the outside's this black, satiny, cottony fabric. There it is. I'm going to look at it real quick, look it over. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be just perfectly fine. I mean, this came directly from St. Laurent, all packaged up through Bloomingdale's. Believe it or not, it does not smell like leather. That surprises me. Usually, St. Laurent stuff has a very strong smell of leather. So this color, I believe, is called Natural Dark, and it sort of reminds me of a caramel color. And this is the color, if I did buy one of their puffer bags, which I decided I prefer the Longchamp Brioche bag to the St. Laurent puffer bag, I was going to get it in this color because I don't have very many bags in a color similar to this. I have a Gucci bag that's brown that's sort of close, and that's this one for reference, but you can see it is a fair amount darker than this card holder is. I'm just going to set that on the floor because there is no way with that strap I can get it positioned in my cabinet while I'm twisting around to the back like that. So I wanted this card holder because it zips open and it has a gusset on the side and the inside it is lined in leather. I wasn't sure. It's so soft, sometimes really soft leather. You can't tell if it's fabric or not. The inside smells like leather, but I like that it has that that gusset on the side because that lets you put more stuff in it. And then on the back side, you can see there are one, two, three, four, five card slots. And my card holders, well, the main one that I use, the main one I'm currently using is this Coach one, which is a partnership with K Facet they did a few years ago, where they have the glove tan pebbled leather with the embossed floral pattern on it. And I usually put three cards in this, the three that I use most often, one on this side, one on this side, and one in the middle. And if I need to have my license with me, I'll stick that in the middle too. I usually always have my license with me, but if I need it real close, I put it there in the middle, like if I'm traveling on an airplane or something. But I thought this would be a good potential replacement or an alternative to the coach one. Not that I'm going to get rid of the coach one because I love K Facet artwork and I love the floral patterns that he did with Coach. So I wanted this because I wanted one that had card holder spots and a zipper. So my two most used small leather goods besides that Coach item are these two items. The Louis Vuitton Key Clay in Monogram and in Damier Aben. And I wanted the Saint Laurent in this color for that reason. Can you see how well those match? I mean, I just wanted something that would coordinate and complement with what I already had since I plan on using the three of these items together. Or I may be able to eliminate one of these and then switch out which one I use, thus preserving the life of both of them for a longer period of time. And then I could just use one of them with this new Saint Laurent card holder. So <laughs> I am so pumped up about this item. Let's look just a little closer. So it has an emblem on the front 
the YSL emblem. I'm really glad that they didn't change the emblem whenever they changed the name from YSL to St. Laurent. And they kept the website the same too, YSL.com. It The YSL part stands for Eve St. Laurent, the man who founded the company. And because they kept this consistent, they're preserving the value of the brand. Whenever you switch things up a lot, that's not good for the value of the older products that you made. It devalues the vintage pieces, and that stinks for us who've bought those items. Like, for example, Burberry did that. They changed their logo to a TB, and now every time I see it, I think Tory Burch, and I'm not interested in the Burberry pieces like I used to be because of the new logo. So it's very good that they kept this logo. It's a very attractive logo. I did worry about this piece inside certain bags because I thought this logo might be a little sharp. And I do think that this might leave a mark on the inside of my leather lined studio bag, but I don't in the studio bags, the quilted one by Coach that I just purchased recently. I can pop the video of that unboxing down in my description box. But most of my bags are not leather lined, and I don't think this would do anything to a fabric lining. And my other items in the bag, the ones I would worry about the very most would be these two. And this is not going to do anything to the canvas Louis Vuitton pieces. The canvas Louis Vuitton pieces really wear very well. So these card holder slots are going to be a little stiff to begin with. It almost feels like there's fabric inside of there. I'm going to have to get my glasses out to see. So yes, while it is 100% leather lined in the middle, the inside of these slots are lined in fabric and the fabric goes all the way up to the tippy top part of the back side. It has to be like almost glued on to the back side of the card holder. Now that may help prevent stretching on the pockets or it may have just been a way to save some money or it may have made it more slim. I don't know what the rationale behind making the interior leather but the exterior interior of the pockets for the credit cards out of the fabric. This leather on the inside of this portion of the card holder feels amazing. Better than Coach Glove Tan Leather. I wouldn't say it smells like the best leather I've ever smelled. It's not a bad smell, but some of my St. Laurent pieces, when I opened the box, they just smelled unbelievably awesome. And this does not give that vibe off to me. There is a stamp right there that says St. Laurent on the inside. It says St. Laurent Paris, made in Italy. I'm trying to see if there's anything else down in here that I could point out because there's just not all that much to say about a card holder other than this is gonna be fabulous. And I don't really care if it matches my bags, but I will say that this isn't gonna look bad with very many of my bags. There are some that maybe are just, Hmm, let me think. Maybe not my navy bag with silver hardware would this look the best with, but I don't really care if it looks the best with any of these. I think anything with gold hardware, it's gonna look pretty good with. It may not look the best with my new Prada Edition. Let me go grab that bag. See, this is what I mean. It doesn't look bad. I mean, the gold hardware on both items helps but I'm not carrying any small leather goods in this bag anyway, except for my pouch that I keep kind of my daily essentials in. I've got the pouch, my key fob, my hand cream, my AirPods case. I've got a stack of credit cards there, stack of insurance cards and stuff there. I have my medicine pouch in this pocket, and then I've got three credit cards in this pocket. And then I kind of created a pocket between the wall of the bag and the wall of the insert for some cash and papers and receipts and identity card type stuff. And that's it. And I can fit my phone in here too. It does make it slightly tight, but it does work. And I wouldn't be worried to put my phone in it for a while. And so this holds everything I need. And I can't lie. I would love to have the black one too, but I just can't justify the spend at this point. Seeing these three items together just makes me so 
excited. I mean, look how gorgeous those are. And for the monogram pieces and the Damiura Ben pieces that I do have by Louis Vuitton, I'm going to be so proud and excited to pull the St. Laurent card holder out whenever I do have to pay for something because this will get pulled out more than either one of these two because these two hold things that I don't use as often. So that is my unboxing for the day and I'm super pumped that I got it free because I bought this necklace. I also got a pair of socks. They're by the company called Hue, H-U-E, and they're no-show socks and they actually are pretty decent. So if you're ever looking for five dollars to add on to a Bloomingdale's purchase, they're six dollars and fifty cents per pair and the 15% off coupon works on them so I think I ended up spending 53 cents over the spend so that I could reach that next gift card threshold. On to another small leather good that I've talked about recently. That's my Longchamp Le Folone purchase that I have. I believe this is the color chestnut. And actually, it looks pretty good with this natural St. Laurent card holder as well. But I'm not getting it out so that I can show you that. I'm getting it out because I have two items that I currently have listed for sale on Instagram and on my community page. And I have found that if I do not show the items in a video, that they don't sell nearly as well. And I totally get it, guys. I mean, you like to see the detail on the pieces. You like to hear me talk about them, why I bought them, why I'm selling them, that kind of thing. And so that's what I'm gonna do for these two pieces. I've got this one. This one is a corner zip wristlet. It's got a wristlet strap here, or or it can also be called, I think, a corner zip pouch by Coach. And these are both outlet pieces, but they are part of the Basquiat release. And these pieces are of a higher quality level than most any of the Coach outlet pieces that I've seen. The, the outlet tends to put out higher quality pieces when they do them in collaboration with someone who is famous or who was famous. And for example, the Jennifer Lopez outlet pieces were nicer than just the regular ones. I picked up a Dempsey tote that was a Jennifer Lopez collaboration and it was way nicer than the regular Dempsey totes. Just food for thought there. But this has not only like a puffy type paint, but it also has embroidery on it. And this is a floral pattern that Basquiat drew. It's not the whole picture, it's just a portion of the picture, but it's done on a very soft pebbled leather. And then the back side is empty. I have used this maybe once or twice, maybe. Um, I think there might have been like one speck of lint inside. It's got three card slots right here, or maybe it's two. Yeah, it's got two card slots right there, and then the Creed patch is right there. And you can see the outline of the Creed patch back here. That's not due to wear. That's just due to how they sewed it. And anyway, it's a really pretty piece. I'm just not using it. And I'm trying right now, I don't know if you've noticed, to get rid of everything that I don't feel the need or desire to use. And the other item is also from the Basquiat collection. Now, Basquiat drew a dinosaur. This wasn't something that Coach asked him to do because the collaboration happened post-mortem. And you can see he's got some detail work on him too. I think there's some embroidery, if I remember correctly, on his crown and he's puffed up too. And anyway, the front of the piece has two card slots. The back has an ID case right here, and then it has a very smooth zipper. It's got the chain that dangles from it, and that's just like my Louis Vuitton pieces. And then on the interior, there are no pockets, but there is the Creed patch right there. And so I usually just tuck the chain in, but you could use that to hook it to something if you wanted to, or hook your car keys to that chain and then just plop them inside and zip it up to protect your inside of your handbag. And then you could use this side for your license and this side for a couple cards. It is really soft, so I think you could fit probably a couple of cards in each slot, but I've never done that, so it is not stretched out. And I like that it has the gusset so that it will spread out for you a bit so that you could fit a good chunk of cards in there if that's how you choose to use it.
So I posted these two items and I accept PayPal, friends and family, Venmo, only the friends and family version of Venmo. I know that they've created a goods and services form of Venmo, but I just do the, the non goods and services form. I also take Zelle and I take Cash App. And I may start a community post and just have all of my buyers who I've sold things to go under there and leave me a review. That way, if you want to ask somebody what their experience was when they bought from me in that fashion, then they can let you know. If there was something that happened where an item wasn't delivered, got lost in the mail or something like that, I would reimburse you for that. As long as it doesn't show that it's delivered at your house, I would reimburse you for that because stuff like that happens. And I always buy insurance for items over a hundred dollars. And if it's less than a hundred dollars, like these are, I would still reimburse you if it didn't make it to your doorstep. So this item here is going to be $60 and this one is 79 and that is shipped. And if you get both of them, I'll take $5 off the total. So the last thing I wanted to remind you of is today is the last day to enter my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. I will link the video down in the description box along with the Coach Studio quilted video. And so you have until midnight central time to enter if that's what you want to do. And I will announce the winner in the next week sometime. And my son's going to help me pick those three winners. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring my notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me on Instagram or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.